Yo, people, we are back. We are back. Welcome back to a rare video. We don't really do this a lot, but it's been a busy day. It's been a busy day. I actually got a trim for the first time in ages. Still need to do up the rest of this mess. But we're traveling out for the weekend. Chelsea on a winter break. So guess what? I'm going on a winter break as well. I'm off to beautiful, beautiful Amsterdam to get baked for two days. So I look forward to it. I need a break. I need to get out of this little corner for once so we'll be back after the weekend for previews we're going to bring back shameless capital conflict is going to be back sometime next week i just need to figure out some little bits and bobs and we can bring that back on a consistent basis but yeah there's still a lot of news to get into today anyway hit the like button subscribe all of that shit you guys already know what to do um cassidy has been recalled i didn't expect this one matt law is the first one to break this news but chelsea have just announced it as well um, Cassidy has been recalled from his loan at Leicester. He's made 25 appearances, scored three goals. Surprise. I didn't DP scored that many. I thought he only had one or two. Fair play. Um, yeah, I'm surprised we, we did this because I know he's not been in He's not been impressive at Leicester and he's had decent minutes. So it's like, I'm not sure if he's going to get the same amount of minutes here at Chelsea. If we even keep him here. For all we know, we could loan him out somewhere else for the next six months. But th th there are a few layers to this loan move. Um, he's had a lot of good minutes there. But Leicester are also trying to sign Sensei from Leicester. And he's a midfielder too. So there might be less minutes for him in the second half of the season. Like I wouldn't be surprised if they did bench him as well. Again, he's not their player. He's our player. So they're not going to prioritise a loan player. Especially if the loan player isn't playing well. And the amount of Leicester fans I see um, absolutely ripping into this guy on Twitter. He, it doesn't sound like he's having a good season. I spoke to Neil about it on Shameless FC as well. I don't know if you guys saw it. But he said it wasn't. he's not really been pulling up any trees. Looks a little bit raw. And that's obviously going to happen with your first ever loan spell. We're not saying that the guy isn't good enough or anything. Just don't know if he's ready now. The only thing that I think he can offer us though is some aerial threat. His aerial numbers from the championship are actually pretty decent. Maybe we're trying to throw him on for a little bit more height. Remember Pochettino making the complaint that he needed more height in the midfield? Maybe Cassidy is the height that we're looking for. Maybe he's going to be a little plan B for us. Throw Cassidy on and try and hoof the ball to him or something. I, I don't know. I think it would make the most sense to loan him back out somewhere else. Just so he could have a little bit more game time. Because we've got a lot of players in the squad in midfield. Especially players coming back from injury. You've got Ugo Chaku and Lavia who are returning from injury. Chaku Mecca, who I, who I think is already fit to be in the squad. Although I'm sure we'll find out on Tuesday. You've got Andre Santos returning. And then you obviously have Enzo, Caicedo, Lavia too. He, he's not getting any minutes. He's not getting any minutes. Maybe he could be one of some depth for one of the attacking midfield positions. Maybe that would work. But I, I don't see where he gets any minutes right now. Like, God forbid we get knocked out against Aston Villa as well. That's another cup competition gone. And then we're basically at one game a week after February if we make it to the Carabao Cup final. So, yeah, it doesn't really make any sense him being in the squad. Maybe you give him development minutes or something like that. Maybe that could work. But, yeah, maybe it, like, it, it'll make sense if we're doing this because of the Sensei transfer. If that's the reasoning for it, cool. I understand. But... If it's not because of that, I don't know. Because he was getting decent minutes there anyway. Plus, you you got experience playing with a team that's competing at the top of a league table as well. Now, he's just going to be have experience within the squad, I guess. Maybe learn something of Enzo and Caicedo. I feel like that could potentially suit him as well. I don't know. There's plenty of routes he could have. He could either stay at Chelsea, could eventually end up going out on loan. I feel like that would make more sense for him. But we'll have to see. People thinking this is to sell Gallagher, though, like, it's not. Gallagher's not going. That There was a report from Footy Insider 24-7 saying that Chelsea now want to keep Gallagher for the remainder of the season, despite recent talks between the clubs. And I kind of get it. Kind of get it. Like, Gallagher's still been deemed as important to Pochettino, so you're still going to keep him regardless. And we don't know if... It, what's going on with the contract situation like it's not a mount situation where he doesn't want to re-sign they've just not really got to an agreement yet so 
I, I get it. Give it a bit more time. Because if he re-signs, you've either got a long-term player or you you can sell him for a lot more money. It's one way or the other. So it makes sense not to pull the trigger on Gallagher just yet. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, I don't really expect there to be any more news on Gallagher. Like, to be honest, the news we've heard from him since we even got to January has just been repost after repost after repost after repost. So, it's pointless. It's pointless. Uh, what else is there? West Ham could be interested in a loan deal for Armando Broya. West Ham's funds are limited and there's little chance of them meeting Chelsea demands of £50 million for Broya, who is also wanted by Fulham and Wolves. What's loan deal? Now, Chelsea apparently are willing to let go of Broya regardless of whether a striker comes in or not. I guess a loan deal might be, able, might be helpful in terms of raising his value. If he has some more minutes for West Ham, could potentially play some Europa League fixtures for them, I guess. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. I feel like ideally you'd want to sell him though. If you're trying to use him as profit to go and get a striker. It would be better off if we used that money. To, we'd actually get money instead. So I don't know. Fulham potential. Like they're not. They're very inconsistent with their goal scoring. One day they're bagging five. The next they can't score three, four games in a row. So they could do with someone long term with Broya. Wolves, I don't even think they have a striker. I think they've only got one. So that makes sense as well. Maybe we see a bidding war for Broya, but like no one's gonna pay fifty million for him, first and foremost. No one's paying fifty million for this guy. It, it's a nice little pipe dream and everything, but it's not happening. Maybe you could use that as like a high bar and then try and negotiate for thirty to thirty five. And that would make a lot of sense if that was the case. But, yeah, I, I don't see anyone spending £50 million for him. Maybe you get a loan move for him. Maybe, but... I only really see the point of it if it's West Ham. I only see the point of it if it's West Ham. Because they've got Europa League football. They've got a few more minutes to hand out. I think that would suit us a little bit more. But other than that, yeah, it's just another day in the quiet, quiet January transfer window. It's just, thankfully, there's not really been a lot of reposts. I could call that Gallagher news a bit of a repost. Although it's a bit more of a conclusion, if anything. Like, now I just can't be asked to hear any more news about Gallagher. We know he's staying. Just leave it at that and move on. I can't be asked for a daily debate about whether we need to keep or sell Gallagher. It's long. I can't be bothered for it. Yeah, I'm just going on holiday. Chelsea are on a winter break. I'm going on a winter break. And I'm going to go and enjoy myself. Big up to everybody just locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe and all of that. Let me know all your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Up the Chelsea.